Real Housewives of Atlanta. First of all, let me um, give a happy birthday shout out to three people. Uh, Tiana Taylor, Raven Simone, and um, the one and only Michael Clark Duncan. May God rest his soul. Um, yes, indeed. Okay, so um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, Kayla, which is Todd's daughter, had a conversation with Todd. Um, and she basically gave Todd the business. She basically told Todd that, um, you know, Kayla, well, first of all, she wants to pursue modeling and stuff. Um, she wants to do it in New York and everything, which is, which is where she and, and Todd is, is from. And, um, she, uh, was talking to him about that and, you know, he was saying he was proud of her and, you know, but you know, Todd is, you know, he's, apparently Todd is very dry, very bland, like candy. And, um... You know, she got on the fact that he never really shows any emotion um, unless he's upset. At one point in time, they had got into it about something, Kayla and Todd, and he did not talk to the child for like a month or two months, which is awful, right? Uh, to not talk to your own child for that long. Um, especially since he was not in her life growing up. You know, you would think that he would be um, all in, you know, any little issue they have would just instantly be squashed because, you know, he, he, you know, spent a lot of time without his daughter. Um, but anyway, like I say, I don't, I don't know the, the severity of, of the situation. So I'm not, I'm not going to speak on that, but, um, yeah. And, and Todd, you know, he was a little taken back by that. He was feeling some kind of way, you know, Candy was saying, because Kayla is his daughter his biological daughter I try not to get into that I try not to get into like the drama or so you know like yeah Todd is very distant Todd is that way um so you know she that's what uh Candy was saying and Todd agreed that he would try to do better aka try is the word of the night um what else is going on um, let me see. <clears throat> Marlo randomly is having a wig line. And, and it just came out of nowhere. It literally came out of nowhere. Maybe it didn't for her, but for us it came out of nowhere. Um, I, I do follow Marlo on Instagram and Twitter, I think. Yeah, I follow her on Twitter. I think it's I Heart Marlo, something like that on, on Twitter. Um, unless she blocked me. I don't know, child. Who cares? But, um, yeah, so, I do follow her, and, and, and I, you know, I, I guess I ain't been on her page recently, because I had no idea that Marlo was getting ready to start a wig line. Um, I think it's in her brand of, 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 of things. I would have thought she would have did fashion first, before her hair, but, um, okay, I mean, I don't really, we don't really look to Marlo for hair, um, but okay, hell, Vivica Fox got a hairline, we don't look to hair from <laughs> so you know hey so um whatever I guess it's easy money um so Marlo actually invited every single person to that every single person Eva respectfully declined <laughs> Eva <laughs> Eva declined the invitation as soon as Marlo sent the email child Marlo was just like uh Eva I would like to cordially invite you denied <laughs> delete it's spam Eva said that message is spam. <laughs> Eva do not do Marlo. I can't say I don't blame her. Um, but you know, Eva, you got your mess with you too. We're not gonna get on that. Um, let me see what else is going on. Um, there was a meetup with Candy and Nini. Apparently, I, I didn't remember this, but apparently Nene and Candy did not um, end up on the best terms last um, season or whatever at the reunion. I thought they were cool, but whatever. So anyway, um, they ended up meeting up. Uh, they both look cute walking up. You know, Candy's told clothes are extra tight, but I think in this case, um, it stretched. The little dress she had on, it did stretch. So, yeah. She can walk on them heels, though. But anyway. Um, 
So she came and, you know, to be honest, uh, Nene has been out of the loop with the girls. A lot of the girls have issues with uh, Lenithia. And um, she basically just called Candy there to get the tea on the other girls. Um, Because ain't nobody talking a fool with Nene right now. Except for uh, Marlo and Yovana. You know, that bitch from Clark. So, um... So, uh... Nene, you know, she started talking about Portia. She was just like, yeah, what's going on between Portia and Dennis, honey? So, I heard he like, uh, into, like, animals doing it and stuff. Um, and, and Candy was just like, well, I don't believe that. I don't. And she was like, what's this called? Bestiality or something? Um, then she gonna say, damn. I was like, uh... (laughs) I was going to say, uh, damn, did Portia need a rabies shot? <laughs> when I tell you, when Nene said that, that was the funniest thing of the night. Me and my mama laughed so hard when Nene said that Portia might have to get a rabies shot. I didn't know what to do. It was hilarious. Candy fell out too. I would have choked on my food mid-chew, darling. <laughs> choked. It was so funny. Um, you know, uh, Needy's still on this whole thing of, you know, Cynthia's not who she says she is, and you know, I ain't fooling with Cynthia, yada, city, yada, and oh god, it's so silly. It really is. Um, I guess Nene's still upset about uh, Cynthia not telling her about the whole Kenya thing that she was inviting Kenya to her event last season or I hope the situation is not that petty Nene you are too old you're the oldest person on the show grow up I mean you can't grow up anymore like I know that's not the only reason but I know that Kenya and um you know Nene have had their issues on social media but that's petty too um so Nene I I don't I'm, I'm unless there's something behind the scenes I'm really trying to understand Nene why you still mad um, I really am, but I know of I've been watching the show since the beginning. Um, and I do know that Nene is very protective over her friends. I do know that if Nene has an issue with somebody, she expects for all of her friends to follow suit and follow behind. And and if I got an issue, we all got an issue with them. Um, I do know that Nene, uh favors people who are um, who are under her in, in a sense who have a more passive personality like um, the lady Cynthia uh, self-servant type of roles you know I, I do know that of, of, of Nene she either like people like that or she like people who she admires in some way that she wants to emulate or people that uh, she in, in aspires uh, to, to be like um, that that is some things that I do know for sure about Nene as far as with us watching this TV. I don't know her or anybody else personally, whatever. I'm just saying I've been watching the show since the beginning and that is what I have gathered off of um, the one and only Lanethia Leaks. Um, so, may, you know, it's probably a combination of stuff. But does Cynthia have a um, mean streak and an evil role to her and her personality? I'm sure she does. Everybody do. I got a nasty mean street child. I used to like to pick up um, knives and things. I still might pick up one. But no, I won't do that. We're gonna cut that out. We're gonna edit. No, we're not gonna edit. Um, you know, uh, you know, there's some. You know, I used to not. You know, uh, what Sheree said up uh, to Kim. I didn't want to pull it off. I didn't try to snatch it off. I just wanted to shift it. You know. So with me with the knives, it's just a little prick. You know. No, you're not really much blood. It's just a little prick. You know. Like they stick you with the uh, butterfly needle at the doctor's office. It's a little prick. Now I told you. Now I could go deeper. I'm trying to be nice to you. Leave it alone. All right. The show warning. Okay. All right. So what's going on? Um, let me see. Hmm. Let me get to it, y'all. Uh, for 
Portia um, gave us uh, some blonde hair on the way to Marlo's event. I did not like it at all. Portia is a beautiful woman. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Thick, juicy. Um, all that good stuff. Beautiful hair, all that. Portia's hair be on point. And I do not like all blonde on Portia unless it's um, some kind of ombre situation. Or, um, you know, like an ombre or some kind of darker blonde. I don't know. Maybe it's just a shade. But that shade of blonde that was on Portia, uh-uh. It looked like doll hair. Baby doll hair, honey. Mattel, darling. I was like, what is this? What is going on? I didn't like it. And then it looked like it was just shaking go hair. You child, you know you got the wigs. You know, that, that you keep in the cabinet, that you keep in the drawer, that you keep underneath the bed, that you keep on the side of the bed, that you keep in the kitchen. You know you got them wigs that you just, you know, you uh, pick it up and you shake it and you go. You know, you just run, in the, you just run into the gas station to get some gas or you just going to pick up the kids or you just going to the grocery store to get two items or something. You know, that shake and go wig, child. You had a shake and go wig on, you put your shades on, you head on out the door. You know, you didn't want to go out anyway. But since you got to go out, child, you got to put some on your head. So it's like, hey, let me just put this thing on. Hopefully, I don't see nobody. Shake and go wig. That's what it was giving me. I didn't like it. Take it off, Portia. Okay, um, let me see. Let me see. There was a scene with Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia. Cynthia agreed that she's been kissing Dee's ass for the past... However many years she been on the show. And Cynthia, we don't care anymore. Um, you denied it when we first said it. And we've been saying it for the longest. We don't stop saying it. Because, you know, you obviously don't care. And all of a sudden you don't bring it back up. Yes. Cynthia, we don't care. Continue to continue to pucker up, sis. You're just a good chap, sick Cynthia. I actually think in real life, Cynthia and Nene are back talking to each other. So, I mean, hey. Whatever. Similar to um, Quad and Mariah on Married to Madison, there's no reason to get into Cynthia and Nene beefs uh, with each other because, you know, they fall out and get back together and get back together and fall out and it's exhausting. So, you know, if I was on the show or, you know, associated with them in some kind of way, I wouldn't even chat. I wouldn't even speak on it. Neither one of them. I don't care. It's one minute they're friends, one minute they're not. One minute they're talking trash about them. The next minute they're taking up for them. You don't really know how to take them. So, therefore, I just won't take you at all. Neither one of you. Child, please. I got my own stuff to do. Um, let me see. Okay, so we get to Marlo's event. She had her nephews there. Um, it was nice. It was cute. Cute kids. Um, I wasn't really a fan of Marlo's wig either. It was, it was ice blonde. Um, I don't think that's the right color for Marlo. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. It's just all about the right shade of blonde, which works for you. Blonde is beautiful on black people, but it's just, you just have to find that shade that works for you. That's all. Uh, but that was not the shade for Portia nor uh, Miss Hampton. So, but anyway, congratulations to uh, Marlo for her wig line. Um, like I said, Eva did not show up. Did everybody show up? Yes, even Nene show up. And Nene, when I tell you Nene was bad, that dress that Nene had on was everything. When I tell you Nene was snatched, Nene looked beautiful. She really, really did. She was giving fashion. She was giving moments. It was, it was stunning. Tens, tens across the board. The best dress was absolutely Lanithia Monique Leakes. I don't know if Monique is her middle name or not. I'm just whatever her middle name is. I'm assuming Monique something. But um, yeah. So I, I loved it. I really did. She looked lovely. Nene came in there, spoke to everybody. Cynthia, if Nene wants to play this game like we're all cool, then I'm going to play this game. So let's play yada to the yada. Like, child, y'all talk all that mess, but won't say it in Nene face. She's a big girl. I don't blame you. Um, okay, so Cynthia, Candy, and Yovana sit down to talk. And, um, 
this whole episode was based around um that they revealed that somebody recorded um Cynthia talking about Nene or something or saying some um not so nice things about the lady leaks. Um and and you know uh it's, it's just like it's this whole thing of who's the snake who's the snake everybody instantly thought it was Yovana but they asked Yovana Yovana she took a little minute to answer she said it wasn't her now it's either Yovana or somebody new that we haven't been introduced to yet I'm assuming there's going to be somebody new that we haven't been introduced to yet because although Marlo and Nini are like this Marlo wouldn't do no mess like that I know she wouldn't um you know, so that, that honestly just left Yovana. But Yovana said she ain't do it. Okay. So I'm assuming to see the Yovana, she lying, or, or some new girl that's going to come into the fold. But we're going to see. We're going to see. But I, 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 I don't understand why it's a big deal. I think the whole act of recording somebody is shady. Um, but as far as what she said, I don't care. Hell, I'm sure I've said worse. I'm sure some of y'all have said worse. Whatever it is about Lanithi, what she called a moose. What is it? We all call her that. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, is it going to just ruin Nini's life? Whatever Cynthia said? Hell no. I'm sure it's not. So I, I don't know why the, that's the big the big tagaga of the, of the season. But I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. Um, so, all of a sudden, we hear stomping and bumping. Child. Oh, Portia didn't talk to Nene when she walked in. She she wasn't have nothing to do with Lady Leaks. I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever. Um, so, all of a sudden, we hear Bowman and Batman. And then this little marching band comes in, child, with Kenya following behind it. Child, Kenya done walked up into Marlowe's event. Selling some of her edge control cream. Some of her edge grow cream. Because you know in the last episode. When they were sitting down talking about their insecurities. Marlo had mentioned that one of her insecurities. Is her thinning edges. So Kenya Boy used that time. To come in with a, with the drum line. Um, and, and had some of her. Um, thinning edges cream. <sighs> Kenya. I love Kenya, but the, see, the, it's these antics that make people dislike you so much, Kenya. We was all on your side. We all agree that that man you marry is is a hot mess. As as handsome as he is, he is close to the devil, and 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 it's awful the way that he treats you. Um, and and you know the minute everybody was excited to have you back and all this, and we know that Marlo is a mess and shady and mean and hateful and all that stuff. But Kenya, you were so wrong for that. That was so distasteful. That was so inappropriate. That was so ugly. That was so rude. That was so shady. How dare you? And and from what I've seen this season, Marlo is trying to get along with you, Kenya. But you done ruined it. You know, it's not... Not like you have to get along with Marlo. Or not that you have to like Marlo. But if somebody's not bothering you, why are you bothering them? Marlo has not say anything out of the way to you yet this season Kenya but now it's just beef from here on out but I get Kenya I do Kenya is trying to earn her way back to that top spot she's trying to get that top peach again because Kenya is the lowest paid on the show right now she wasn't when she left but she is you know she's you know she she's was not present until later on until like what last two episodes or something of last season so she didn't get a check at all and so this season she's the lowest paid you know even Marlo and Tanya gets paid more than Kenya allegedly so you know Kenya's trying to do her job to get back on that seat next to Andy for the reunion show and how do you get that seat you do antics like this you know Kenya is, is reality TV gold stunts and shows Stunts and shows, and I like Kenya. I think she's, you know, obviously she's beautiful. She's very intelligent, you know. She's accomplished all that good stuff. But it's these antics, Kenya, as to why people hated you so much from the very beginning. And now you got some fans, sis, but don't lose them. 
Don't lose them by, especially behind somebody like Marlo, who stays in the hot seat, who is the hot seat. But not everybody, you know, or not, I would say everybody, but most people are on Marlo's side because you was just wrong, sis. And then we have Cynthia um, talking about, oh, she wished Kenya would have stayed. Marlo put her out. Marlo played along for a while, but then Marlo got upset. She sat back and thought about it. Um, she um, wanted Kenya to get put out. She had the crowd chanting, uh, let Kenya go. Um, Kenya still left when she wanted to. And she even had her cousin holding one of the um, edge control cream. I was like, yeah, she's smart. She know Marlo got a record. Marlo low-key wanted the soccer. I know she did. Um, so she uh, kicked about her cousin in there. In case Marlo was going to start swinging. Um, so I was just like, oh, Kenya. God, honey. There's, there's no way that you can justify this, sweetheart. This is just wrong. Straight up wrong. Like, oh, my gosh. And this is her first launch. Of her hairline. This is, you know, her, her first introduction to um, the world of wigs for Marlo to the people and stuff. And, and you do this. Why you just didn't come? You could have just not came. Oh, God, Kenya. Wicked, honey. Wicked. Um, Nene actually ended up leaving because she said, had she stayed, she would have popped Kenya. I was just like, she was like, this is the Kenya that she knows, child. I was like, Lord Jesus. Um, but also, that took a lot of the light and shine away from Nene um, when Kenya walked in. Um, and so, there's a small reason as to why Nene left, too. Because one of my paying Nene and her beautiful dress any attention anymore. I like them bangs on Nene, too. Nene looked good this season. Nene looked really good this season. Dare I say this is the best she's looked? Yeah. I'll say that, you know, I, Nene's always looked good, but this season with the hair, the makeup, the, the outfits, everything is on point for me with uh, Lanethia Leaks, for sure. Um, Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Child, we're trying to find out who the snake is, who recorded Cynthia, and, and King, you, you was dead wrong, and uh, what else? Now, Eva, you're still shady. Don't own up to it. What else? I don't know. I'm ready to see what Todd and Candy talk about, though. Um, I know at the beginning she was saying that um, you got all these businesses, but ain't doing nothing with them. So. Child, God forbid if they was divorced, it's going to be messy. Because they shared all these businesses and stuff now. And it's her money included with his money. And, you know, he ain't going to get them escape checks. We ain't talking about escape. And then, you know, prior, whatever was going on prior to him. But it, but they do a lot of stuff together now. They, they divorce going to be messy if they ever get one. Oh, child. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway. With that said, I, Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at It's His World on Instagram and Twitter. At is his word 89 on Snapchat, Chesking on Facebook, Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.